Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. If you are new here, if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. This will be a meal prep on WW, which is Weight Watchers. That is the program I am on. That is the program I've lost 56 pounds on, and these are the foods that I eat. So this meal prep is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be pretty simple, easy recipes um, that I consider healthy. Um, I'm trying to just have a really good, clean, healthy, simple diet. Um, when I say diet, I just mean like the diet as in the foods that I'm eating. Um, I'm not like on like a super restrictive diet. I'm on WW program, which is very sustainable. So I'm going to start with breakfast. Um, I'm not going to show one part of the breakfast because it's actually just yogurt, but I'm going to show you guys my homemade sugar-free granola. Um, this is a really good alternative to granola um, that you could buy in the store or your market because that's really full of lots of sugar and this one's just going to have a replacement of sugar-free syrup. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that you need for this recipe and then we're going to get started on making our homemade granola. Before we get started on that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, hit that notification bell. That just allows you to know every time I upload a video so that you guys don't miss out. All right, so the first ingredients, you will need some oats. I'm using just quick oats. You can use quick oats or your old-fashioned oats. I just prefer the texture of quick oats better, so you'll need some quick oats, sugar-free syrup. I'm using some almond extract. You could use vanilla. I just actually really like the flavor of almonds and then I'm also going to be using some shredded up almonds in this bag and then some cinnamon is optional but I do love cinnamon so that's going to go in there you'll need some kind of tray to bake your granola on and some parchment paper and then just a big bowl and a spoon that's it I just added two cups of oats into the bowl. I'm going to add two tablespoons of almonds, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and then one fourth cup of maple syrup. We're going to just do one half teaspoon of the almond extract. Oh, it smells so good. Don't, don't sleep on the almond extract. <laughs> Okay, so tip with the granola, make sure you get every last bit of syrup because even just the tiniest drop matters. You want this to be still crumbly like granola. You don't want it to be too coated, but you want it to be coated enough. So just mix it really well and make sure, like see the residue left from the syrup. I need that. So I'm just gonna like hold this here and get every last bit of syrup or you could add more, but I really like to just keep it at one fourth cup and just get it all in there. <laughs> okay, this is a texture you guys are gonna want to where it's crumbly, but also formable. See how you can kind of still form it in a ball? Can you tell? <laughs> but still, you want it crumbly. All right, now we're gonna just place it on a baking sheet with parchment paper. All right, this is optional. I'm not even taking a full tablespoon. Um, I'm just taking a little bit and I'm just gonna drizzle some of the maple syrup on top. This just adds like a little extra sweetness to the top and I really like it. So just adding a little bit on the top. There you go, it is ready. We're gonna go ahead and bake this at 350 for about 20 minutes, but you do wanna keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't burn. So everyone's oven is different, so just make sure you check on it. Yum. I have some non-fat Greek yogurt and the granola on top. 
So this is kind of what my breakfast will be like with a side of fruit, like berries. Perfect. All right, lunchtime, we're gonna be having some chicken teriyaki with rice and cauliflower rice mixed together to keep the points low but still get that yummy rice fix and with the teriyaki chicken. So I do have the rice cooking already on the burner and then I'm gonna mix in some cauliflower rice and we're gonna steam up some stir fry veggies. I got the microwaveable, <laughs> microwaveable? I got microwaveable stir fried veggies for this just to make it simple and easy. And then I have the G Hughes teriyaki sauce. So this is sugar free and it's gonna keep the points super low. And then for seasonings, I have salt, pepper, and garlic powder in here. And then to make the sauce really thick and yummy, I have one tablespoon of cornstarch. We're gonna just dump that right into the chicken. So that really helps the sauce thicken up. And I think it's kind of key to a really good chicken teriyaki. So before I microwave these, I wanna just talk about how simple this recipe is. The only thing that takes time is cooking the chicken, cutting it up, cooking it maybe around 15 minutes total. Um, so this is a really, really quick, fast um, meal prep for the week and it's really affordable, budget friendly, and you can of course change anything out. You could do shrimp, teriyaki instead if you don't want chicken, um, but it's so easy and it's really good. So now I'm gonna cook the cauliflower uncooked in the microwave. There's two cups of cauliflower in here. You don't actually microwave it in the bag. Um, I read the directions and I realized that. So I'm only gonna be doing two cups and I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for three minutes. I'm gonna be adding sesame oil to the pan. I'm gonna do one full teaspoon. And I just prefer to cook the chicken in sesame oil. Of course, you could use a zero point oil, but this only adds a little bit of points to the whole thing. So I think it's just like worth it. <laughs> All right guys, here I have one cup of rice right there, white rice, two cups of cauliflower rice. I have a pan back here with one teaspoon of sesame oil. I'm gonna go ahead and just add this together and cook it. It's still kind of hot. I have some soy sauce. I'm gonna add just a slight little bit of splash, enough to keep it zero. So this is optional. You don't have to, but I do love soy sauce. So I added about, I'd say probably a tablespoon, if that. Optional sesame seeds. How good does this look? For lunch, this is gonna be so good. You have rice, you have chicken, you have veggies, and you have a really good sauce. So, 
ah, super excited about this. I made four of them and they're pretty decent size for lunch. I think they'll definitely keep me full. All right guys, for dinner, I'm only gonna make a small little meal prep for dinner. This will probably only last me about two meals because throughout the week, I'm gonna make a big chili. And I've actually already showed the chili, I think two meal preps ago. I'll leave it in the iCards above because it is such a good chili and we love this recipe. So I like to make that and have that throughout the week because it lasts me a while and I didn't wanna repeat it, but I will leave it up above if you guys want that recipe. So it's a really good chili, so that's what I'm gonna have through the rest of the week. But I am gonna show you my first two, probably on Monday and Tuesday I'll be eating this. This is one of my favorite recipes. It makes me feel so good and I love it. So I'm gonna show you how I season it and how I cook it. So we're gonna be making some salmon. I have a little filet of salmon here. This will be about two pieces. I'm gonna just cut them in half and then we're gonna bake carrots and Brussels sprouts and two potatoes, two little red potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the veggies and potatoes. And then for the seasoning, I'm gonna add some salt. This is just Himalayan pink salt. Pepper. And then the secret ingredient is everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I just toss it all together with my hands so that everything gets coated really well. And then I'm just gonna lay it in the pan with parchment paper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray the salmon. And then in this cup, I have parsley, minced onion, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I'm gonna make this into kind of like a rub for the top of the salmon. And now I'm just gonna kind of rub that together. Make kind of like a crust. Be so good. Then I'm gonna squeeze some lemon right on top. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this in the oven. All right guys, here is the salmon and the veggies. I just put it in the containers and I'm letting them cool. This will be my dinner for two nights and then like I said, I'm gonna have the chili. But this looks so good and this is my favorite salmon with lemon and I will squeeze that lemon on top. Look at the crust. So I love making this. This is super easy. The salmon does finish first. So I actually did end up taking it out, putting it on a board and then cooking the veggies the rest of the time because the salmon does finish um, quicker than the potatoes and carrots. So just keep that in mind. All right guys, that is it for this meal prep. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is food I actually just love to eat and I feel really good when I eat it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and tried some of these recipes out. They're all super simple, super yummy and healthy and WW friendly of course. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and I will see you guys in my next video.